My name is Tracy Coe. I'm the Injury Management and Health Program Coordinator at SEQ Water. SEQ Water is the Queensland Bulk Water Supply Authority, providing drinking water to South East Queensland, meaning we manage the catchments, dams and water treatment plants. Some of the facilities available to staff at SEQ Water is that there are bike racks, shower facilities at our head office. We do aim to have healthy food options available and, and we have visual prompts about wellness, nutrition and physical activity in our lunch rooms and work environment. We've seen significant benefits from our program. We've seen that our insurance premium rates are the lowest they've ever been and they're actually defying our market trend and CPI as well. So we're really proud of that and that tells us that we're certainly not injuring our staff and we're looking after them. We're also very proud of our absenteeism rate is very, very low in SEQ order, which means everybody's available to do their job, uh, to come to, to work healthy and leave work in, in a better condition, if possible, than they arrived in. One of the key initiatives that we have at SEQ Water is our annual health and wellbeing assessments. This is where we derive our health and wellbeing data and information about where our health risk hotspots lie. So we can strategically develop initiatives which are targeted and specific to the health risks identified. Some examples of our initiatives include our annual 10,000 Steps Challenge, the free quit smoking program available through the Queensland Government, our annual skin checks and flu vaccination program, nutrition cooking workshop, as well as a range of other programs which target the SNAPO risk factors. Because health and wellbeing is part of SEQ Order's safety management system, it is integrated in the way we manage health and safety at work and it is easier to keep wellness on the agenda through visible CEO, board and management commitment. I would fully support any business uh, introducing a health and wellbeing program into their management system and making it a crucial part of that system. The good part about integration is in tough economic times that uh, programs like these are unable to be cut, they're not considered a nice to have or an add-on. If they're embedded into your programs and the fruits of the programs are being seen by senior levels of management and boards, they show how easy it is to integrate it and how important they are as part of an overall holistic work health and safety and wellbeing program. I think strong leadership is fundamental in establishing a wellness program, having leaders who are wellness role models, but also having that visible commitment to workplace health and wellbeing. Also being passionate about wellness and being persistent is also really important. We're looking at expanding and growing our health and wellbeing program in SEQ Water as well. We're not only just going to expand our frontline services like our skin checks and flu vacs and things like that, but we're actually going to initiate new programs and try and tackle mental health in the workplace, as well as feedback from our annual health surveys, concentrating on new risk factors that may come along, and then developing strategies to be able to deal with those and tackle those in the workplace as well, allowing people to take those um, benefits back to their families as well. Some of the unexpected benefits that we've got as a result of our program is simple things like our skin check program now saving two people's lives. You know, they had melanomas removed from that program. The weight loss uh, achieved by our staff members has been incredible as well. And the uptake of our program has really surprised me. And it's really a, a self-moving machine now. We've got momentum and we really want to keep it going. A piece of advice I'd offer to workplaces looking to establish a workplace health and wellbeing program is to use the Healthy Worker Initiative website and the Five Steps to Workplace Wellness Guide, which will really provide a structured and useful approach in developing a wellness program. Also, there are a range of free existing resources and community groups and agencies out there to tap into. On a personal level, for me, it's been an amazing journey to be a part of uh, our transformation. Uh, I, I now have realised that, you know, as even a senior manager in the business, you can affect people's lives um, every day. <laughs>